morning everybody today I'm taking a little bit of maintenance or doing a little bit of maintenance on the camper before we you know, set it up for winter I just came here I uh, added a little bit of air pressure to the tires they were a little low I don't think they're leaking but it's just been a while since I've topped them up I'm gonna set them up set the trailer up on uh, this wood and bring it out to our land Yeah, we don't get to use it much this year, but uh, it has come in very handy in the past uh, when we have been moving. And who knows, when we start building our house, we may have to live in that for a little while while our house gets positioned and set up and gets everything hooked up. And I'm hoping maybe next year we can take it out on a long weekend or something, but for now, I've got to get it ready for winter. And that's what we're doing today. I get comments every now and then asking about our land. We have been there this year. I don't always film when we go there because there's not always a lot to do, right? Or not, not a lot to show you. There's nothing there yet. But we're going there today anyway. So if you haven't seen my videos at the land throughout the summer, you'll see that it still exists and it's still sitting there today waiting for our house. Can't wait till we can finally, finally build our house and put it on the land. Oh, what a day that will be. Okay, so I'm put this way. Got everything I need. Let's head out. Britt's cousin had borrowed our trailer for their wedding this summer. And that's why we had pulled it out of its usual storage spot there. And uh, ensured it so that they could use it. And now, uh, gotta bring it back. Brought along mama bear. It's me. This is our baby's first visit to our land. First. This will be home sweet home. It's a little bit windy out here, but I'll show you what we did. So obviously we brought our uh, camper back out here, positioned it a little bit differently this year. It'll be a little bit out of the way of where we want to start working. The wind is going to catch me right away. We put up stakes now where the front of the house and garage and shop are going to be. I don't know if you can see them or not. These two stakes here, this will be the front corner of the house here. Can you see that stake over there? Am I pointing in the right spot? Right there, that'll be the, the other corner of the house. This will be the front of the house. And that'll be our front yard, all of this. And then this is the start of the, possible start of where the garage will be. It'll be set back a little bit. So the corner of the house will come here. And then the garage will be just set back a little bit. And it'll go across to that pin right there. So this will all be the garage here. Be us walking right out front of the garage doors. From here to there. And all of this is going to have to be cleared down. Because the garage is going to come all the way along here. This is going to be the back corner of the garage. Garage wall will go here and then straight that way. This here is going to be an opening. It's going to be a gate. We're going to have our fence, fenced in dog area back here behind the garage and the house. It's all got to be cleared. This is where the shop is going to start. So there'll be the garage wall here, that way, fence gate into the yard and front of the shop here from this stake here to, I don't know if you can see the stake over there, right beside that tree right there. This will be the front of the shop. Right now we measured it out to 35 feet wide may want to go smaller we may want to go bigger but it's a rough guesstimate and then i have the stakes in the bush can't see them from here i didn't put any red tags on them I need to come back and do that but it is staked out all of this here is going to be shop it's got to be uh cleared down we did 35 feet across 50 or 60 feet 60 feet long 35 by 60. again we're going to see if that's too much but Little better to have a little too much than too little. And then yeah, the back of the house will be over here. Because remember the front of the house is over there. It's probably hard to picture this in your head just by my camera here. This will be the back of the house from here going that way. And so this side will be garage, this side will be house, be an attached garage. 
and then out this way. So all of these trees will be in our house. We're gonna have to take them down. I don't want them in the house. They can come into the house as firewood though. And then our backyard here. We're gonna pick the, the best trees that are strong enough to stay here. But most of these will come down because we don't want them to eventually fall on the house, right? And probably about another 40 feet back. That'll be our backyard. And then we'll still have lots of forest behind that yet. That's our, our general plan anyways. And I know it's very hard to show you just walking through here on camera, but we're slowly starting to get a vision of where everything's gonna be. And uh, next spring we can come here. Well, next spring we're gonna have a baby. So we'll uh, see how much time I have, but next spring I'll spend some time here. Next summer clearing, cutting all these trees down, cutting them up setting them out somewhere to dry as firewood. And then we'll have our trailer here for a little uh, place to cool down, relax. I'm making sure that you got the measurements right. Because <laughs> I was going off memory and we all know I'm probably not all that reliable at the moment for memory. Oh, your memory is pretty good. She's not, way better than mine. Not as good anymore. Uh, home and cottage. We said 40 feet long? No, no, 40 feet deep. 56 feet long. 56 feet long. 40 feet deep with the sunroom, but only 28 feet deep without it because it's a 12 by 12 sunroom. Okay, so this side of the house will be 28 feet yeah. from those pins that way. Mm -hmm. And then on the far end of the house, there's going to be a, a sunroom off the master bedroom, a four season sunroom. And that'll be, so that far wall will be 40 feet. Gotcha. Is this it? I can't really go. No, that's too small to be it. At least now we sort of have an idea of where everything's going to be sitting. A lot of work to be done yet. I'm going to have to rent an excavator, a mini excavator. Get all these uh, bushes out of our front yard here. Come out here with my chainsaw, start cutting down trees like crazy. Pulling them out of here, cutting them up. There it is. 1,554. I keep saying 1,545. It's 1,554. That's how big our house is going to be. Square feet. But also with the sunroom. And that'll count the square oh. feet because that's four season. Which is 12 by 12. So. Okay. So it's not a crazy big house. It's, no, it's a modest house. Yeah, for a family, it's, it's not bad. We're what not going be? crazy. The floor plan is very similar to our house where we got married in, when, that I lived. Ow. You yeah. just punched the roof. I was trying to do a victory fist bump. Oh, <laughs> I thought she was doing like, per diddle. Where? <laughs> no, 56 by 28. I remembered. Woo! See, I told you. <laughs> you got a good memory. Yeah. So, that'll be, it'll be good. That's the floor plan, but it's going to be reversed. And then with a sunroom off the back there. It's very similar to what we've chosen. A couple of modifications, but. Three bedroom. Yeah, three bedroom, two and a half bath. No basement. It'll be about a three foot crawl space beneath there. Yeah. And uh, it's very uh, high water table here, low lying land. If it does, it does sometimes get a little soggy here in spring. And if it does, if we do have a really wet spring like we had this past year, our house will be three feet off the ground. The Steinbeck will pretty much have to be flooded before it hits our floorboards. So it'll lift the house up a bit. Plus the foundation will be built up a couple of feet too, I'm pretty sure. We'll see what the contractor advises. Yes, we'll know. trust the professionals because we're definitely not those. We couldn't even get the pegs straight. <laughs> we tried, we tried. We gave it an honest, a college try. <laughs> Good old college try. I was gonna show them what it looked like from back here, but uh, that sun is really- She's bright. Giving quite the glare. Yeah, the front of the house will be way up there. And then when you come down the driveway, it'll, the shop will be straight ahead. So that when I come in here with the, with the big truck, it'll be easy. Just back down the driveway and just back straight in. And then this, I, I'd really like to save as much as this here as possible. Yeah. Just to let all this grow, grow higher. They must have had it cleared at some point because it's a lot shorter right here. And a majority of the, not that you can see right now because holy smokes, that sun's bright. The majority of the trees that way will be saved as well, as well as the front ones. We're gonna save as many as possible. We're only yeah. cutting down what we absolutely have to. And what's too close to the house? Cause these are poplars, right? 
I think, I think so. they're poplars. And poplars grow really fast, but they also die really fast, and they tend to fall over. So we'll have to be very vigilant about dead trees in our yard. Yeah. Or bent trees. It's going to be home. Yes, it is. Can't wait. So sick of living in a town. No offense, Steinbeck. You're okay for a small city, but I'm a country girl at heart. And this is where baby's going to grow up. Yippers. Her little rough and tumble country girl or boy. <laughs>